Mercedes GLC Coupe VS BMW X4 New Mercedes GLC Coupe boasts bold looks and strong performance, but can it beat the BMW X4? Mercedes has played catch-up to BMW in the world of large, swoopy subs, as its GLE Coupe was released seven years after the first X6. However, the brand has learned from its mistakes, and is wasting no time capitalizing on the trend for compact curvy off-roaders with its GLC Coupe. Based on the C-Class, the newcomer is, as its name suggests, a mid-size 4x4 with more svelte, coupe-like styling. There's no doubt the recipe has what it takes to win sales, but if Mercedes wants to get its own back on its rival, it must beat the X4. BMW has condensed what's made the X6 a success into a smaller body with similar styling cues. Which high-riding coupe SUV is king? Head-to-head. -head. Model, Mercedes GLC 220D AMG Line Coupe. BMW X Force Drive 20DM Sport. Price, £42,540. £43,275. Engine, 2.1 liter 4CYL turbo diesel. 2.0 liter 4CYL turbo diesel. Power slash torque, 168 bhp slash 400 nm. 187 bhp slash 400 nm transmission 9 speed automatic 4 wheel drive 8 speed automatic 4 wheel drive 0 to 60 miles per hour 8.2 seconds 8.3 seconds top speed 130 miles per hour 132 miles per hour test economy 36.1 mpg 31.6 mpg co2 slash tax 143 g slash km slash pound 145 139 g slash km slash pound 130 options night package 495 pounds running boards 450 pounds premium package 1495 pounds Driving Assistance Package, £1,695, Designio Metallic Paint, £895, Mercedes Me Connect, £150, Metallic Paint, £645, Upgraded Stereo, £335, Sun Protection Glass, £330, Reversing Assist Camera, £330, Comfort Access, £495. Mercedes GLC Coupe. 4. Individual looks, plenty of safety tech available, easy to drive. Against, price premium over regular GLC, cramped in the rear, lumpy ride. On the face of things, it looks strange that the less practical and efficient Mercedes GLC Coupe commands a £2,930 price premium over the equivalent GLC, but once you realize this literally is the price you pay for style, it's easier to comprehend what the GLC 220D AMG line stands for. Style-conscious buyers wanting a diesel SUV with the lines of a coupe have now got it better than ever. And if you don't want to break the bank with the larger, more expensive GLE Coupe or BMW X6, the GLC Coupe is a more affordable alternative. At £42,540 it's still not cheap, though so what do you get for your money? This price buys you an AMG line model with the entry-level 168bhp 220d engine. Despite a modest power output and a rather average 400 nm of torque, the 9-speed transmission helps boost acceleration and, along with four-wheel drive, gets the bulky 1,845 kg GLC off the line fairly effectively. At the track the car accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.2 seconds, but revving the engine hard releases a cacophony from under the bonnet. Refinement is not the 2.1-liter unit's strong point, so it's better to tread gently on the throttle and stroke the GLC coupe along at a more relaxed pace. When you do, the in-gear performance is effective. 
and with one extra ratio compared with the 8-speed BMW, it pulls a mere 1,500 RPM at 70 miles per hour in 9th, which keeps the noise down on the motorway. However, this is where the positives end. On our test car's 19-inch wheels the GLC Coupe's ride was lumpy, while the body didn't feel particularly well tied down over bad surfaces. On these rougher roads the chassis fidgets, and it struggles to settle into a smooth lope on the motorway yet start to push harder through a series of corners and the Mercedes wallows around. The mushy, lifeless steering lacks the BMW's precision, and the GLC coupe isn't as willing to change direction. Nor is it as agile or fun although neither car is particularly inspiring from behind the wheel. Being based on the regular C-Class, the cabin is smart, with a pleasant mix of upmarket materials. Artificial Art Eco leather is fitted as standard, however, BMW includes real part leather sport seats in the X4S price. And just as the GLC Coupe's dynamics are compromised, the interior is tempered by a dated multimedia system, with low-res graphics. At least there's lots of standard kit, LED headlights, keyless go, sat NAV, DAB, park assist, heated seats and a reversing camera all feature, alongside some strong safety tech that you'd expect at this price. Testers Notes Garmin Sat NAV, relatively small, poorly integrated screen is one of our biggest gripes with the GLC Coupe. Garmin's system offers limited connectivity. Material quality, cabin is nicely trimmed, and AMG line feels sporty. Wood finish won't be to all tastes. Power tailgate, all models get a switch for the power tailgate in the cabin, plus on the bootlet and the key fob. BMW X4 4. Good to drive, high quality materials throughout, decent equipment spec. Against, not as sleek as GLC Coupe, compromised ride, lack of practicality. When the BMW X6 was first launched, it's fair to say it's split opinion and in the translation to the smaller X4, the divisive looks have remained. Yet while it's not as well resolved as the GLC Coupe, as with that car the design will be part of the appeal for many buyers, even if the X4 looks a little ungainly. It's hard to argue with what underpins the styling, however. BMW's trusty 187BHP 2.0-liter turbo diesel and 8-speed automatic gearbox send power to all four wheels. But despite the power advantage over the Mercedes and an identical 400 Nm of torque, the X4 was actually slightly slower from 0 to 60 miles per hour, taking 8.3 seconds. The gap is only marginal, but as the BMW has one fewer ratio to choose from, its in-gear performance in top couldn't match that of the Mercedes in 8th. However, over our other speed tests in the remaining ratios, the X4S performance pegged the GLCs, it took an identical 3.2 seconds from 30 to 50 miles per hour in 3rd, while its 8.9 second time from 50 to 70 miles per hour in 7th was also the same. Apart from the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint, then, there's little to split the two subs in a straight line, although when you reach a series of corners the X4S sharper chassis shows. The steering is still devoid of feel, but it's much more accurate, while the body rolls less. You lose some ride comfort as a result, and the BMW struggles to smooth out rough road surfaces riding on this M Sport standard sports suspension and 19-inch wheels. At least the firmer damping gives the X4 more control when you want to drive it faster. The BMW's cabin is more staid than the Mercedes, with two horizontal lines for the climate controls and some audio buttons sitting underneath the square infotainment system. But the setup's graphics are of a higher resolution. Due to its shape, though, the car suffers from the same problems as the Mercedes. These are mainly that its tapering roofline reduces headroom in the rear albeit not to quite the same extent as in the GLC Coupe as well as restricting boot space compared with the X3S. Material quality is a match for the Mercedes, however, with soft-touch plastics lining the dashboard and tactile leather on the doors. 
The standard iDrive infotainment system is more intuitive to use than the GLC Scarman based unit, but as in the Mercedes, we'd recommend going for an upgraded media package, BMW's professional setup is a 900 pounds optional extra. Equipment is decent, with SAT NAV, heated sports seats, DAB, and parking sensors fitted as standard. Testers notes. Apple CarPlay, while SAT NAV is standard, you have to pay £235 to improve smartphone connectivity with Apple CarPlay preparation. We think it should be standard. Refinement, BMW's 2.0 liter is more refined than Mercedes 2.1, although at low revs it's still quite noisy. Paddles, 8-speed automatic box is smooth and responds well to manual shifts using paddles. Verdict First place, Mercedes GLC Coupe. As it's cheaper to buy and run than the BMW but offers similar practicality and sleeker looks, the GLC Coupe shades it. The car will appeal to those wanting more style from their SUV, but you'd really have to like the looks to pay the extra over a regular GLC, which rides better, costs less and has a bigger boot. Second place, BMW X4. The BMW narrowly loses out to the Mercedes, because it's pricier to buy and run. Cost won't matter to many drivers here, of course, with style key to people looking for an alternative SUV. Again, you'd be better off saving money and opting for the regular X3, which is more practical and has a similarly high quality feel.